Hello, everybody, and welcome back into another episode of the Bet on Me podcast. It is Friday, July 21st, 2023, and I'm back, uh, not in video style, but we're here. We're making a podcast. We're getting it out there. Um, going to talk about uh, some NFL, going to talk about some interesting stuff in the NFL as, you know, camps start up next week. Uh, the running back situation in the NFL. We'll just go ahead and get started. Um, thanks, everybody, for joining us today. I hope everybody's having a great Friday evening. But this uh, situation where the running backs in the NFL are uh, kind of not getting paid any money past, uh, you know, that rookie uh, salary and like a, you know, a franchi- franchise tag. And, and that's not a lot for running back, but apparently running backs are looked at as they are um, kind of too risky, I guess, to put money on uh, for longevity. Uh, I was listening to a thing this morning where a lot of, you know, elite names, you know, Todd Gurley uh, cut when he was like, what, 25 or let go or released. Uh, you know, they didn't really want to pay him. Uh, there was a few others there that, uh, that's happened to here recently, but I, I'm pretty sure Eckler is uh, is another one here um, this past season that isn't able to get a major deal like he wants. Um, and I think Austin Eckler is one of the best running backs in the league. I mean, you know, I won some money off him last year anytime touchdown scores. So it, it's just insane that these teams are making so much fucking money. Like this is in the billions we're talking about here. Uh, TV deals alone are ridiculous, and and we can't pay running backs who are literally crashing their fucking head into oncoming traffic every Sunday, you know, sometimes Monday, now Tuesday. Um, you know, eventually we're going to have a game every fucking night. I'm, I'm guarantee you they're going to try to play as many games as they can. I mean, I love it, but the point is, is you added more games. Uh, it's a dangerous sport. It's very driven toward passing. It's very driven toward safety of the quarterback and the receivers. Defenses, you know, don't have a lot really on their side as far as, like, the rules go. Uh, it's all geared toward, you know, the offensive side of the ball. And I, I think it's shitty. I, I heard this this morning. I have to I – I, I forget the guy's name, but it was on a um, very reputable show – on, you know, on the classic rock stations, um, the John Boy and Billy show. I was listening this morning, and a guy came on there, you know, that does sports, and, and he, he said this, uh, and the only reason I'm saying where it came from, because I don't want people to think I put this out there or got it off anywhere else. This is where I heard it. He said that as of right now, and I haven't looked into this, but as of right now, there are punters uh, or kickers, so to speak, whichever one it is, punter, kicker, like it, probably both. But I'm pretty sure it was kickers. Uh, he said there's kickers right now that are making more than running backs in the NFL, which is, to me, is insane. I mean, to think that a running back in the NFL isn't getting paid as much as the kicker. Now, I understand the kicker, big part of the football team. Okay, they, you know, they, they go out there, they put points on the board, they get that extra point. It's not a given. I've seen that. It, it's blocked. Some guys can't do it as well as others, even though it doesn't seem like it's far that far of a distance. I mean, you got to think the crowd in the stands, other team coming at you. These dudes are huge. You're, you know, usually most of the time you're real small as a kicker, and, and you know you don't want to get like you know taken the fuck out and have your knee blown out and never play again. So you're, you know, you're kind of timid even to be out there. And then there's some guys that go out there, ice fucking cold, you know, veins, and they just, you know, knock it right through the uprights and call it a fucking day, collect their fucking game check, and, you know, take the kids out to Arby's or whatever the fuck. But uh, Arby's isn't sponsoring this podcast. I don't know why I said that. Anyway, I just I just think it's, it's just kind of, it's just kind of crazy, you know. And uh, we've got... We've got some stuff here we could talk about. There's, uh, you know, this season coming up, and I've got all kinds of picks for, you know, who I think is going to do what, who I think is going to finish where, and this phone is just fucked, and it is so much bullshit. I'm so mad at myself for letting that happen. Yeah, it still works, though. That's, that's great. 
Here, I was going to look over here at, uh, let's see here, where is it? Conferences, yeah, divisions, here we go. So, in the AFC East, the Bills are obviously the favorite. Uh, you know, you got the New York Jets, Aaron Rodgers, and Alan Lazard. Alan Lazard and Aaron Rodgers, that is a duo I think people uh, don't really understand as a duo. And I think next year you're going to see it a lot more because that's one of the reasons uh, Aaron wanted Alan to come. I'm taking Alan Lazard every fucking game to score a touchdown. Like, I'm dead serious. That is something I'm going to be playing every game. I kind of did that last year uh, because that was – they ne they never really talked about it on TV during the games or anything, but if you watch the games, y you would know that you know he was always trying to get it to Lazard. That was that was a guy that he knew that could catch him. Uh, I know they had shit. I can't remember the kid's name. God, he was so good. I know there was another kid for you know what. Either way, the Jets the Jets are probably my favorite right there to come out of the AFC East. I know that's crazy. Uh, the Dolphins are at 290, the Jets are at 250, the Bills uh, plus 130, New England Patriots sitting at plus 750. It's, I think it's it's the Dolphins and the Jets this year. I think the Bills are going to be a team that's going to be there. Maybe they win it this year. I, I don't know. I don't know. I could be completely wrong, but I'm riding with the Jets. Aaron Rodgers, I think he's going to fucking take them all the fucking way uh, to, you know, something. They're getting something this year, <laughs> even if it's just the um, the conference championship. Uh, I think. <sighs> Do they make the Super Bowl? I mean, if they make the Super Bowl, I mean, it's just Kansas City would destroy them, right? Anyway, look, uh, AFC North, you got the Bengals, you got the Baltimore Ravens, you got the Cleveland Browns, uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. Pittsburgh Steelers plus 470. Cleveland Browns plus 390, Baltimore Ravens plus 250, Cincinnati Bengals plus 130. I think, you know, I mean, the Ravens could sneak by, and I know that Lamar Jackson got his money, and, and you know, I, the, I, the Browns situation. They, I think the Browns have a better situation than Pittsburgh does when it comes to the quarterback. Uh, All-around team, Pittsburgh, probably better, better coaching, definitely. Uh, Mike Tomlin out there. But, I think uh, Cincinnati Bengals uh, plus 130. I think that's a safe bet right there for the AFC North winner because I just I think Joey's going to be there a while. I think it, you know it's it's like it's kind of like um, you know how Mahomes is always going to be there. We think you know you just think of you know it's it's a weird year if the Bengals aren't going to be there. Uh, Joey Burrow. I think I think they're going to be there. So I'd, I'd take them. Uh, AFC North winner, uh, AFC South, uh, Jaguars, Titans, Colts, and Texans in that order. Uh, Jaguars minus 155. They're the heavy favorite. The Titans plus 310. Colts plus 550. And the Texans plus 1,000. I mean, I would, you'd be hard-pressed to go against the Jaguars there, but the Titans could do something this year. It, you know, if anything could happen, this would be the year. I'm pretty sure they're sticking with Tannehill. I don't think they can get rid of his contract. Uh, if if that's something that I'm, you know, saying wrong and I'm wrong about, we can clear that up later. But I'm pretty sure they're rolling with him. But Derrick Henry, uh, you know, I'd have to take the Titans this year plus 310. I mean, like I said, the Jaguars, yeah, that's a safe bet as well. But if you want to put a little value on it plus 310, you got the Tennessee Titans. Like I said, the Colts up plus 550 and the Houston Texans plus 1,000. So that's a bit, that's a bit much. Uh, AFC West, Kansas City Chiefs, minus 180. You got the Chargers, plus 300. Broncos, plus 700. Raiders, uh, plus 1,500. I really think that – I think the char either the Chargers or the Broncos, if, if, any, if, this, if there's a year that the Kansas City Chiefs don't go – uh, to the championship game, it's this year, right? Because they've just, they've won so much, they've went so deep. I think either the Chargers or the Broncos have a chance to go. Uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the Chargers. I think the Chargers are a good pick. Justin Herbert, you know that team out there. I, you know, I, I got them winning the AFC West. Uh, just because I want a little value on it, plus 300. I'd really like to take the Broncos. I know they're gonna be like a good team this year. But I just think the Chargers get it done. He, you know, Herbert's had enough time out there to figure things out. Uh, AFC East. 
you know, I want to go with Philly, and I'd like to pick the Giants. I don't think the Commanders plus 1,300 are going to be there. Giants plus 700. Uh, Eagles minus 115. I just really, 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 really think the Cowboys are going to do it this year. I think this is going to be the year that they break through and make a deep run. Uh, uh, plus 175 uh, for the uh, Cowboys to win the NFC East. Going to have to roll with that one. Not my proudest moment, but, you know, we're going to roll with it. As for the AFC North, you got the Lions and the Vikings. Lions plus 155, which is ridiculous. The Lions are fucking, they're a team. Uh, Minnesota Vikings plus 260. Uh, Green Bay Packers plus 340. That's that's a pipe dream. Uh, Chicago Bears plus 400. That one right there kind of makes me go, what? Because they should be above Green Bay, right? Uh, I don't know. I'd almost take the bay. You know, I want to take the Lions, but I don't know. I don't know. I, I'd probably ride with the Bears in this one, the Chicago Bears. I'd take the Bears because they, you know, I mean, I know I, I don't trust golf. I just don't trust golf. Uh, NFC South winner, I have no idea. This is the Saints, the Falcons, the Panthers, the Buccaneers. Buccaneers plus 750. Panthers plus 360. Falcons plus 210. New Orleans Saints plus 130. I I have no idea in this one. Your guess is as good as mine. Does Baker even play a whole season? Can he get it done? Um, I I mean, I'd go with the Falcons plus 210 right there. Uh, And to round it all out, the NFC West, you got the 49ers minus 160, the Seattle Seahawks plus 195, which is very generous. Uh, Los Angeles Rams plus 1,000. And the Arizona Cardinals plus 2,700, which is ridiculous. I honestly think that the Arizona Cardinals are going to win the NFC West because all they have to do is win more games than San Francisco Francisco 49ers. I don't think the Seahawks, that's plus 195 for the Seahawks there. That is insane. I really don't think that, you know, they should be – I don't think their odds should be there. The Los Angeles Rams plus 1,000. That's crazy. I think the Cardinals should be, you know, favored over the Rams. But it is what it is. I'm going to take the Cardinals. I believe in Kyler Murray. Uh, you know, Madden. We're going to see how that all works out this year. Anyway, uh, appreciate everyone listening to the podcast. Make sure you check us out on YouTube. Over there on the YouTube channel, the Bet On Me podcast channel. Um, bet It All Sports. Uh, affiliate of uh, make sure you check us out over on the instagram make sure you're following us on the twitter uh make sure you're over on tiktok give daily plays um, all these platforms like subscribe uh, leave a comment anywhere uh, you want uh, let me know if you agree let me know if you disagree i'll talk about it on the podcast you know I need to figure out how to go to phone lines on here and, and take calls or something yeah, that would be great just take calls from people be told how much I suck and my opinion's terrible. I would love that. Anyway, thanks so much for checking us out. Go and check us out over on Capritech. You'll be able to listen to this episode of the podcast and all episodes of the podcast upcoming on Capritech. And don't forget to use all their many tools that they have there. Uh, That's how I win. And when I do get bets right, that's usually how I'm getting them right as I'm following the analytics over on Capritech. They got a lot of great stuff. You can keep up with all the stories and sports up to date by the minute in the news aggregate over there they put a lot of work into that really proud of that and i really enjoy it because it's literally where i go to get my news and sports to see what's going on uh the game cap census the game simulator all that stuff over at capratech go check them out link is down below in the description and i think that's it uh everybody have a good friday and yeah it's nice outside so get outdoors uh go watch a ball game if you can i'm sure there's some baseball on or local say you know i'm just rambling on it's just a great day i'm glad to be back doing the podcast everyone thank you so much for checking us out we will see you next week hey don't forget to go get those bets in